going on guys? It's Jay Burrow here back with another Minecraft video. Today we are doing a video that I have been wanting to do for quite some time. And guys, last video I told you guys to leave an unidentified number of likes. I didn't tell you how many to leave. I just told you to leave a like on the video if you wanted a jump bridge tutorial. And guess what? It got 16 likes. That's good enough for me. And I'm going to teach you guys today how to jump bridge on Windows 10. Now the first disclaimer I want to get out of the way is that you cannot do this on mobile devices. Now you can do it on like a controller, but you cannot do it on a normal Minecraft Pocket Edition, like on your phone or on your tablet or whatever you're using. So before we get into the jump bridging, I'm just going to teach you guys some basic mechanics of bridging. So if you guys know about this normal bridging, this is pretty effective. This is kind of what I do most of the time. But then there's, you know, if you're running, you can do it. And then there's walking. Now walking is pretty safe. This is the one that I am best at and I don't really fail it very often. I'm still working on the running one. Yeah, like, like you see, but it's not that bad. And of course you accomplish this bridging by just spamming right click on your mouse while walking or running forward. And you can actually place blocks in front of you like this. This is something that can only be accomplished on Minecraft a Bedrock Edition because you can't click in front of you to place a block in Java. Now jump bridging is a different mechanic than most people might think it is because when I first started trying the jump bridge, I would do something like this and it would always fail. Like I would just jump and I would spam my right click. And I mean, blocks place here, but then once you get, you know, going in the air, you fall instantly. Like, like how do you, it, like this isn't jump bridging. I'm just spam clicking. And as you can see, all the blocks do not place like directly by each other. Now, if you do it fast enough, I'm sure you can. But jump bridging actually has an entirely different mechanic involved in it that is different than <laughs> bridging normally. It is an awkward technique and it might take you guys some time to fully nail it down. But before I tell you how I'm doing it, I'm gonna jump bridge for you and you're gonna see what I mean. All right, so as you can see, I'm jump bridging. Now, I'm just doing this flawlessly. I'm just running, placing blocks, but am I spamming right click? The answer is no. And as you can see, as long as you keep the jump bridge chain going, you can never stop the bridge. Now, eventually, maybe you'll end up stopping it, but you can do this infinitely if you have really good sensory skills. But as you can see, I built a really long bridge. And to be honest with you guys, I trust jump bridging a lot more when I can do it than any other bridging, just because it's an infinite chain that won't end and it can only be ruined by server lag if you do it on a Minecraft server. And if you do it in a world, it can't be ruined by anything but yourself. Now, to explain jump bridging, this is what you do. First, you're gonna jump and you're gonna place a block, but here's the thing. You're not going to let go of right click. You're gonna jump up, you're gonna place it, and then you're gonna right click, hold down right click, do not let go of right click, you're gonna place that block. So I can literally just do this just infinitely if I want to. Like th this is how flawlessly awesome jump bridging is guys. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. I'm holding right click. And just for people who don't know how to jump bridge, I'm gonna give you one more demonstration again. Jump, hold, right click, place the block immediately, and be sure you're looking all the way down because if you look up just a little bit, may like it it's gonna keep going like this, but if you look up too far, it's eventually gonna stop. And even when you're looking at an incline, it will work for a while, but eventually it will stop on its own. So be sure to be looking down all the way when you jump bridge, otherwise the chain won't work and you can do what I just did right there. Once you know how to do it, it's actually really easy to learn. If you're practicing jump bridging, I suggest you start on the ground, this is what I did, and just try the technique until you can finally get that chain nailed down. And once you get down, it's gonna look like this. At that point, you can then go up, build your little bridge system, your tower, and you can just, you know, go crazy with your jump bridging. And it's pretty fun once you know how to do it. Let me tell you guys something, jump bridging in Minecraft servers like Sky Wars stuff and Bed Wars, Treasure Wars, whatever, is so OP with jump bridging. In my last two videos, I have demonstrated jump bridging. I suggest you guys go and check those videos out to see how OP it is to jump bridge in a real competitive PVP game. So to recap how to jump bridge guys, be sure you are holding your right click once you place a block on your running start. Be sure that you're looking all the way down or else the jump bridge will eventually fail on its own. And be sure that you stay focused on where your cursor is. That's another thing. Otherwise you're gonna fail the bridge. Honestly, it's not that tough to do. It's, it's something that everybody can do with enough practice. If you have any questions, guys, be sure to tell me in the comments section down below. I'd love to answer your questions and that will do it for today's tutorial. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it most informative, and I really hope you guys learned how to jump bridge. If you did learn how to jump bridge as I kick your face right now, let me know in the comment section down below. And as I said earlier, do not hesitate to ask me any questions. I'll answer any questions you have about the jump bridging technique, but again, Hope you guys find this tutorial extremely helpful. I hope you can use it to try hard in Sky Wars and Bed Wars and all the other games that you play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go now and I will see you guys in my next Minecraft video. Goodbye, everybody.